Hello and welcome to another two-part head-to-head review of two whiskies that look very similar but possibly aren't. This is Bullet Bourbon and Bullet Rye. I'm going to start off this review by clarifying that both of these bottles were bought by me about five years ago. The rye might have been a slightly more recent purchase, and these are both 45 ABV whiskies. I think the reason I actually purchased these was because it was around about the time that here in the UK, Bullet Bourbon changed from being a 40% ABV product to 45%. Because over here in the UK, we, believe it or not, used to have to buy our bullet bourbon at bare minimum 40%. And from memory, I don't think it was too bad for being such a low strength, but the modern 45% version that I'm looking at today is definitely better. It's also worth pointing out that in comparing these two products that the bullet bourbon is a particularly rye heavy bourbon as bourbons go. So you might expect that there might be some similarity between the two products, although there's also rumours, if you have a little look online, that the, the bullet rye is actually a sourced rye, so it's actually not even potentially made by the same people as bullet bourbon anyway. Let's start off with bullet bourbon. So as I mentioned, this is the 45% product. It's not the more recent 10-year-old, it's the standard bullet bourbon. So let's see how it noses. So immediately I'm going to say that this, and I quite like this, it's a more challenging bourbon. It's not overly sweet and easygoing and syrupy like some bourbons are. There's quite a lot of notes of freshly sawn wood in there, also a little bit of light licorice, and it's quite a herbal bourbon as well. It's a little bit of menthol in there. But that's not to say that it's not sweet at all. There is definitely a sweet fruitiness in there. But again, that's something that I think is quite unusual for a bourbon. Me personally, as a Scotch drinker saying this, I'm not as experienced as some people when it comes to bourbon. But I would say that the, the fruitiness in this bullet bourbon is more of a spirity pear note rather than the usual sweet notes that you get in your typical bourbon. Along with that freshly sawn oak, as you'd expect, there's also quite a bit of spiciness, quite a bit of ginger, pepper, and also a little bit of a salty oak note in there on the nose as well. So there's definitely a few things going on there. It's not an overly simple, sweet, sanitised product. I quite like it. Let's see how it tastes. So it's definitely a sweet, spicy woodiness, very upfront on the palate of this whiskey, it carries over really well from the nose. I think this is definitely one of those bourbons where the nose and the palate are very well matched. And there is also a slight earthiness in the spice on this one, and it's probably coming from the fact that there's quite a lot of rye in this bourbon. I have to say that the mouthfeel is very good, it's a lovely syrupy coating mouthfeel. But saying that, the mouthfeel is plenty syrupy, but the sweetness is actually not that syrupy itself. It's more of a, a round general sweetness rather than the syrupy corn syrup sweetness that you get on a lot of other bourbons. As for the finish, I'd say medium, about what you'd expect. And there's some salty, spicy oak, a little bit of lemon and a little bit of salty licorice as well. As for a grade, I'm going to give this a B-. minus. One of the things that I really like about Bullet Bourbon, apart from the fact that you can get it almost everywhere and it's quite often a good price, is that it's different. As a Scotch drinker, I do think, and I know this is just me, that a lot of bourbons can taste very similar, but I don't think that's the case with this Bullet Bourbon. Probably because you've got that high percentage of rye in the mash bill, it really makes it a little bit different to your average bourbon. But, saying that, that lemony grassy spiciness that you get from the rye it's always really nicely counterbalanced by some lovely fairly traditional rounded sweet notes from the bourbon 
So join me in the next video, which is kind of part two of this video, where I'll be looking at Bullet Rye.